Microsoft has launched Windows 7 with the hopes that it will reboot consumers' perceptions of the operating system after the bad reception given to Vista. Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer took to the stage in New York to highlight the latest advances. What is Windows 7 at the end of the day? What were we really most trying to do? We were trying to make the everyday usage of the PC better in the ways our customers wanted. Simpler, faster, more responsive. Windows 7 promises to boot up faster and reduce the clicks needed to get common tasks done. It's also meant to be quieter with fewer pop-up boxes, notifications, warnings, and are you sure messages. The operating system is expected to be a huge seller as people replace outdated PCs and businesses retool after cutting back during the recession. With Windows 7, however, a lot of the traditional complaints that people had against Vista have now been eliminated, and because of that, it's highly likely that Microsoft is going to be able to either gain or both gain and hold on to its current operating system share within the market. Despite the enhancements of Windows 7, some analysts say the release does little for Microsoft in the face of computing challenges on the horizon. I think the real challenge is that the direction of computing is moving away, the balance, the, 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 the center is moving away from the operating system and into the browser. To coincide with the launch, computer makers and retailers are cutting prices for PCs to try to goose holiday season sales. Microsoft is also trying its hand at running its own retail stores, opening the first one in Scottsdale, Arizona. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.